about to crash. You know that they're vulnerable because the nation of Greece the little nation of Greece, if it leaves the euro, could bring down the entire European banking system, which is why Angela Merkel, the chancellor of Germany, even though she seems to have gotten a little bit smarter about the danger of having a nuclear war with Russia, so she came over here and told our very stupid President Obama that he better talk to Putin. But uh, Angela Merkel does not get the idea that the euro system is bankrupt and she thinks Greece should pay debt for a $275 billion bailout that they never saw. The people of Greece never saw that bailout money any more than you or I ever saw the bailout money. And if you did get the bailout money, then you should get over to our table and give it. <laughs> It can be atonement and penance. You should donate your money to the LaRouche Pack so we can stop these Nazis in Ukraine from getting us into World War III and so that we can impeach this President Obama and put him in prison. He can share a cell with Dick Cheney. We don't know if W. Bush needs to go to prison or just drug rehab. But Obama and Cheney certainly would look cute in a prison cell. And we'll throw in Jamie Dimon as well. Wall Street is nothing but a criminal enterprise. You can see that with the truth of what's coming out on HSBC right now, which was caught laundering $17 billion of drug money, and not a single person went to jail for that. They got a little teensy fine of one point nine billion dollars and got to continue their drug money laundering operation and then Loretta Lynch Obama's nominee for attorney general who covers up for drug money laundering uh, there was another case where HSBC apparently was creating tax havens hiding 120 billion dollars of people's income so they didn't have to pay taxes on it one of the people whose money HSBC was hiding in a tax haven was none other than Saudi Prince Bandar, who has an apartment right up there in the Time Warner building. Prince Bandar and his wife, Princess Haifa, were funders of the 9-11 terror attack, and they have not been extradited to the U.S. for trial. Um, they, in fact, they are probably named, we don't know because we don't have access to the 28 pages from the 9-11 Congressional Joint Inquiry, but there's a chapter in the 9-11 Congressional Joint Inquiry of 28 pages which most likely goes through the role of the Saudi royal family in funding and orchestrating the 9-11 terror attacks on the United States. As former U.S. Senator Bob Graham said, until these pages are released, the official U.S. government line is that 19 hijackers who barely spoke English came over here, got flight training, and took out the world's towers all by themselves. And they were aided by some guy sitting in a cave in Afghanistan on a cell phone. That could not possibly have happened. The apparatus which ran and funded 9-11 is still intact, probably still intact in our nation until we can get these 28 pages released that go through the role of the Saudi royal family and Prince Bandar, who has a place right in the Time Warner building, and whose account was protected by HSBC, for which not a single person has gone to jail. Now, 40 years ago, Linda LaRouche called for something called an International Development Bank. And the idea was that we should stop the British imperial policy of raping and looting the nations of Africa and South America and Asia. And what has now occurred is that the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, have taken up 
an American system approach, Linda Marouche's approach to economics. So these nations, the BRICS nations, set up their own bank at a conference in Fortaleza, Brazil last year. And unlike Wall Street and London, they are not bankrupt. And the Chinese are right now completing 18,000 kilometers of high-speed rail. And the Chinese have a very ambitious program to develop thermonuclear fusion energy and to mine the moon for helium-3. 25th Amendment now, he is nuts. Obama is nuts. Obama is nuts.